there's a lot of people in my lifetime that I've met that's that's had an impact on my life personally person and uh YouTube rather than person or YouTube uh <laughs> content creators I've never even said one word to except in chat not chat or chat or uh comment section like oh your video is great I like the way you talked about this and all that I appreciate them I include them too uh, I've been on YouTube for since 2000 and uh 2007 to make a long story short to sum it up uh I basically been on YouTube since it since it debuted so so about 2007, something like that. I forgot when YouTube debuted. I did mention it in another video. But I've been around since that time. It's been before year 10, put it that way. So, and this individual that, as you've seen in the, in the uh, title there, uh, we're going to talk about Camp Survivor and his wife, Emily Survivor. And what they mean to me personally and... Uh, and why I I uh, really appreciate them and and I love them, you know. And I, it's always good to see them. So let's see. Uh, I met Camp and Emily on this on the Dark Side Gamers channel. His chat. He's a gamer from the UK. I used to. <laughs> he's a cool guy though, man. Dark Side Gamer. But yeah. Uh, I was on his chat, you know, trying to support him. He doesn't, I just noticed the guy doesn't have many people in there sometimes, you know. So I decided, I like to support gaming streamers, you know. I, I love doing that. And that's how I met Camp and Emily. And when they said they were like married, I was thinking like, okay, this is a YouTube internet thing, you know. <laughs> That's, I didn't think they was actually physically together, married until like later. I was like, oh, okay. Said, oh, Camp just made me coffee, she says. You know, oh, they actually live together. Oh, they're, they're a real married couple, you know. Actually, now that I think about it, I just thought about it. I met Emily first. It was just Emily. I met her first. I, be, I believe it was in the Dark Sad Gamers channel. It was Emily. Then it was Camp. Some... Uh, another time when I went on uh, Dark Side Gamers channel. So. So, yeah. That's how it was. It was Emily first. Then she subscribed to my channel <laughs> when I first met her and shit. And then it was Dark Side. No, not <laughs> Dark Side. Then it was Camp. Camp Survivor. Now, Camp is, uh, he's not a young man. He's not an old man. He's like in between. He's middle age. You know. I'm, I can't remember his age. I'm thinking he's about 44. At, at least at least around his mid 40s, around the mid 40s. Uh, uh, mid 40s, early 50s. Oh, oh, don't don't get. <laughs> I, I mean, I know you're around there, you know. So he's he's up there, but he's not too old. You know, but, but yeah, he talks about he's been bald since his youth and shit. I like the way he's, I like when he used to say that in chat. But I didn't actually subscribe to him for a good minute. You know, I kept seeing him and everything like that. And I don't know what prompted me. To, I forgot what prompted me to, to subscribe to Camp's channel. But I eventually subscribed to his channel. And uh, it was great. When I first arrived on it, you know, but I'm getting ahead of myself, so I'm going to describe Camp and Emily. Oh, in fact, I'm really not getting ahead of myself. This is this is when I first joined his live stream for the very first time. Uh, this is what I do notice about them. They are very. I hope I don't fucking like it. <laughs> this is they are a very, very loving couple. I mean, you can tell that. That they love each other. You can fucking tell. By seeing it, you know. Oh, 
God. I... Stop. Don't. <laughs> I'm sorry. <clears throat> that was, uh... That was a, that was one of the first things I noticed when I joined their stream. Uh, the way she would leave the chat and she would go in the room when he's playing the game and she would fuck with him for this hair. Put shit on his head and shit and mess with him and everything. You know, it's cute and it's really beautiful to see. It is. I mean... Subscribe to him, Camp Survivor. I'm going to leave his uh, hashtag in my video. I mean, I know people have said like, oh, you don't know how they're like outside of the, uh, of the YouTube, you know. You don't know what they're like. They just like that on camera. I don't believe that for a second. I don't. They're not acting because they're on the camera. I just don't feel that they do that. I just don't. If I'm wrong, I'm wrong. I'll be wrong because every time I see them together, it just, uh, it just warms my heart. It does. I mean, I was in a relationship for four years. I got to the point where I didn't believe that people could fall out of love, but I, you know, but unfortunately, my, uh, my girlfriend fell out of love with me, you know, so, I'm not gonna go into detail what happened, if we just, she just drifted apart, you know, so, it took me a whole fucking year to forgive her, a whole fucking year, but, even though I'm not interested in relationships, dating, I do believe that love is still exists, that people can still fall in love today. And Camp and Emily Survivor shows me that, that it's still possible. Sorry, I didn't mean to break down. I was trying, I was trying to hold it back. I was trying to hold it back. I, I, I really, really tried, but just like, just came out of nowhere, you know. <laughs> um, yeah, Camp has uh has had multiple strokes in his life because you know sometimes when they have a stroke one time, they become a completely different person. They become numb. They lose function in their, their limbs and things like that. Camp is very fortunate to be in good shape after the multiple strokes that he's had. You know, I mean, they affected his eyes. They affected his, uh, I think his taste buds. Well, it's to the point where he can no longer, he, he's, he can no longer eat certain foods. He's allergic to certain foods as a result of his strokes. I didn't think the strokes can affect you. You're uh, allergic to food. I didn't think they could affect your eyes. I knew they could affect your limbs, but... Stuff like that. So his retina is kind of fucked up. For all those strokes. And um. Yeah. Yeah he told me one time. That he had a stroke. I think he was on. I could be wrong. But he was on a platform. I think he was waiting on a train. He was out in public you know. And he had a stroke right there. And he said he could have died had it not been for a stranger. If I'm not mistaken, to save his life. I was like, oh, my God. He said I wouldn't have been here if it weren't for him, you know. So he could have definitely passed at that point. And he also got, he told me another story that really wrenched my heart. He was going to uh, take his own life one day. And his wife saved him. She she saved his life. And he told me if she wasn't there, he would have did it. Now, I'm no expert on suicide, but 
I know I'm the one to try to discourage individuals from doing it, you know. I felt suicidal not too long ago. Myself. Um, because today is the, uh, it's the fifth today. And about four days ago, I felt that way because of all these riots going on in America and uh, I couldn't pay my bills because of, because they, they uh, destroyed the stores where I go pay my bills. And I just like, oh, my God. And I saw all these fucking the National Guard out there and all that shit. People talking about it constantly once I was outside. And I did a video on it when I came home. I definitely, without a shadow of my mind, I felt suicidal that day. I wasn't going to kill myself, but I didn't care if I lived to die. I was like, I, I, I even said in the video, I said, I don't care if I get up the next morning. You know, got a lot of hits on it, too. A lot of encouragement from the uh, gaming community. They came in and they wrote comments, took out a time and, to give me a comment, say, keep your head up and everything, you know. Everything's going to be all right, basically, you know. Or I agree with you. People are fucked up out here. You spoke truth in that video. Stuff like that. You know, really, I really appreciated that. And uh, going back in my high school, back when I was in high school, I contemplated suicide. I, my life was kind of fucked up. I mean, my mother was on drugs and shit at the time, and I felt that she didn't really care about me and shit. And I remember, I don't know if it was day or night, I forgot, but I went in the kitchen. I took out this big ass fucking knife. And I was just staring at it. I was going to take that knife and thrust my stomach and, and just bleed to death. But I didn't do it because I was too much of a pussy. See, in that case, being a pussy is not bad. Because you call a guy a pussy, that's something to be... That's like a derogatory term. Like, that's to put the man down. Like, you just a pussy, man. You know. But I'm glad, I would take that title gladly. I'm glad I was a pussy because had I done that, I wouldn't have been here today entertaining people with my channel. I wouldn't be making people's day, making them laugh, entertaining them. I would not be here, especially with my little sister. She's the person that she is because of me. I partially raised my little sister. So she would have grew up without me. She probably would have came much worse. She probably would have got pregnant at a young age. Who knows what would have happened had I not been there to guide my sister. You know, and, and the life experiences I experienced since I didn't take my life were great. You know, I, I've warmed people's hearts. I made them laugh throughout those years until now. I still make people laugh. I still entertain people. You know, but sometimes I know we, we as humans, we get to that point where we just say, what's the fucking point, you know? Take me now. Fuck it. We get there. But we have to remind ourselves. It may look grim at that moment. But just like pain, it will eventually go away. You know, so camp. I implore you, my friend. My brother. Don't do it again, man, please. I mean... I'm glad I, I'm glad I've met you, man, because how you did, I would never met this great person named Camp Survivor. So and <laughs> seeing that love that your wife shows upon you and everything, you know, she loves you, man. You have kids. <laughs> you have reason to live, man. I mean, you make people's day on your YouTube channel. I see you still pumping out videos. You have been live streaming lately, though. I can't wait for your next live stream. <laughs> I can't wait, Camp. I can't wait to see you and Emily again. <laughs> and when I first went into camp stream, I noticed this voice bot was repeating everything people saw, people were saying. I was like, okay. I mean, I did wonder why it was doing that, but I didn't. It wasn't to the point where I asked them why. So I started trolling him and shit. He said a lot of people do that. I, I know. I couldn't help it. I, t I even told him in somebody else's chat. I said, I said Camp, I, I had to troll you. I had to. 
if I was risking the ban from your stream, then so be it. I couldn't help it. I had to fuck with him with that robot. I had to. <laughs> I was saying all type of shit. You know. <laughs> but he says because of his eyes, he has a hard time reading, you know, and, and the bot makes it easy. He just listens to the bot say the words, and that makes it much easier so you don't have to read the chats constantly, you know, and all like that, all like and everything. So so yeah, it makes sense. So that's, that makes them pretty unique because I've subscribed to a lot of streamers and they don't have nothing like that. He's the only one that I'm subscribed to that has that bot there. So that makes them pretty unique in, in my opinion. Oh yeah, he's also a horror movie buff. Wow. Does he love horror movies? I mean, this guy, I like horror movies too. But he puts, he makes me looks like, he makes me look like a casual viewer, okay? I mean, he made, I mean, I appreciate him because so much, I can't thank him enough. He helped me to find this horror movie that I saw as a kid on VHS. Even my mother couldn't even fucking remember, didn't know I was talking about. She even got to the point, she was like, you just making it up, you know? I was like, you had on VHS, he was taking people's heads off and shit and putting them on. He was like an alien or some shit. I mean, if, I mean, he gave me one name, but it turned out to not be the movie. Because I was like, I was looking up trailers. I was like, no, nah, this don't look like this is it. And it wasn't it. So he, ca he came up with the name The Borrower. I was like, hmm, let me try that. And come to find out, it was called The Borrower. I remember, I, I remember <laughs> when I was talking to my mom about it. And she looked it up. And, um... Shit, I almost stepped on my fucking CDs. My, my game's over here. Better watch out. But, uh, yeah, The Borrower. That's what it was called. And she was like, The Borrower? I said, yeah, was, he was taking people's heads off. Just, and so she went on her cable Comcast, and she typed it in. And lo and behold, she couldn't find it. I'm like, yeah, it's one of those fucking hidden gem movies. Hardly nobody knows about it. So she went on Google and looked it up, and she found it on Google. Because first she found the borrowers. I said, no, it's not a plural. It's a borrower. It's singular. So she found it. She's like, oh, okay, this is the movie you was talking about th that time. I said, yeah, you had it on VHS. And she's like, hmm, she still don't remember. My dad probably recorded it because they were together at the time. So, But yeah, I thank Camp for that, man. Because I don't, because <laughs> I've been wanting to find that movie for fucking ever. I was like, what's the name of that fucking movie? <laughs> so I appreciate you on that camp. So yeah, Hori move buff to his heart. He has a lot of trivia, a lot of knowledge, and everything. I mean, this guy got he has a lot going for him. That's what I'm trying to fucking share with you guys. He has a lot going for him. He has no reason to end it. No reason at all. You know, so I mean he's a he's a, I mean a lot of people benefit off this guy. I know they do. They benefit off his company, his friendship, his Association, Emily's association. She's she's a happy camper. No pun intended. <laughs> so so yeah, and they both sometimes watch my videos as well, my gaming videos, my uh vlogs, appreciate them and everything. And uh yeah, so that's pretty much it about Camp Survivor and Emily Survivor. I know I kind of fucking got <laughs> kinda kinda broke a little bit. Didn't mean for it to come out. <laughs> but it did <laughs> but yeah so so yeah so this is so this is another video my appreciation series and there will be more to come I did mention that I was going to do another one but I didn't say who I always knew it was, was camp but I, forgot I kept it to myself so they was like oh well you can't wait to see it so that was like a while ago sometime last month this is the fifth now but it was last month like mid last month when I mentioned so it's been a minute I've been doing other videos and shit but but I knew eventually I was going to get to this video so I decided to do it today and there you go that's my appreciation video for Camp Survivor and Emily Survivor a good couple very loving couple on YouTube check them out if you haven't and uh, with that being said this is Y Chromosome signing out peace and love Good health to you all, and be safe out there.